Hey, good morning, folks, and you are welcome to another exciting episode of Friday with Fran, the real estate man. And this weekend, how appropriate is it that when we're celebrating the Phillies in the ball game, we're celebrating also Happy Nut Day. So those peanuts that everyone's having out at the park, uh, take me out to the ball game. We're celebrating it in an even bigger way here uh, on Friday with Fran. So let's take a look at what nuttiness is going on in the market uh, as well. Uh, as you can see from this chart, uh, where these are the percent of active listings with a price drop. This is a week ending uh, last week, and it basically looks 30 days back. We as agents, I don't think, are doing a good job here because 42, yes, 42% 42 of the listings that were placed into the MLS have received either one or two price decreases in that amount of time. We are not pricing ahead of the market. We uh, you know, go ahead and get the listing appointment and we say, this is the price. We need to be saying, hey, we're putting it on the market in two weeks. What's it look like there? What are the trend lines? What has happened since May with the changes in the interest rates, inflation, all those variables that go into what the market looks like? So folks, uh, I wanna tell you what happens when a listing is missed price or overpriced, uh, what happens to the seller at that point? You lose two things. You lose time, and we know that time is money, and money is time. So the thing here is we want to price it well out of the box because what happens is the first two weeks of a listing is really where you get to show your stuff. That's why the photos have to be good, we have to have great curb appeal, and we have to have the right price. If we don't have the right price, we're not going to get the showings. Two weeks out, no showings. Everybody's saying, what's wrong with the house? What's wrong with the house? It is, you know, probably the price or the condition. We are seeing that, you know, folks are doing their homework, they're sprucing things up, but they are not realizing what has occurred in the market back in May with the interest rates increase. So folks, please, uh, if you're thinking about listing, buyers know that you know some of the listings out there might have some price flexibility, uh, given that uh, you know it, it, it isn't selling. Um, and we're talking just, you know, uh, days on the market have creeped up maybe two or three days, but it's really those ones that are out there for 14 days that you know, wow, what is going on with this listing? And nine times out of 10, as we can see, or five out of 10 with 42%, that they're priced wrong. So uh, again, I want to say that that nuttiness should uh, not be, and I can take away some of that confusion, either on the sell side or the buy side. And I'd love to take a chance to uh, you know come over and see your house, tell you how to price it as the date that you're going to be putting it on the market. So again, there's my cell phone information if you want to take a peek. You take care. Go Phillies. Go Eagles. Go Sixers. Go Flyers. And thanks again for uh, participating in another exciting episode of Friday with Fran, the real estate man. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next week.